What's up? Welcome to another video. Now today I have something special. Since OpenAI released its own new image generation API, today we're going to be recreating this workflow that you see in front of me. Now this is a very simple but powerful workflow that uses OpenAI new image generation API to generate thumbnails for your YouTube videos. Now, as you can see here, we have a form submission where we are taking the video title, video description, style of the video, and based on that, we're creating thumbnails like these right here, as you can see. Now, this is very insane. ChatGPT leveled up the game right now, and OpenAI really created something special with this. So essentially, what we're creating is we're creating a thumbnail generator um, that you can pretty much sell even later down the line and use for your own personal use. So if you want to get these template along with other templates and access to multiple courses, you can check out our premium community on school. Uh, we're just starting out and we have weekly calls, advanced AI agent templates and more. So feel free to check that out. So let's go and let me break down each node one by one. I will also show you how to use the new image generation API from OpenAI. Okay, so the first node that we have is an on form submission, you simply go here, and you go to add another trigger, and you go to on form submission. Okay, from here, what we did is we named this uh, form title YouTube thumbnail generator, we added a form description, which is please provide your title and files for the thumbnail generation. And we also added a field name, provide a video title. And here we have a text, okay? So that's the first field name. We need a title. Uh, this is a required field. We need to provide a brief description of the video. This is the second required field. And then we have third one, what element should the thumbnail have? Again, a required field. And then what is the style of the thumbnail, right? Is it realistic? Is it Ghibli style? Is it animated style? Uh, and then we have required field for that as well. Now, this is how it's going to look like right here. This is something that I did in the previous um, previous generation here. I'll just uh, pin this data so that we have it right here, okay? From there, uh, what I did is I added a AI agent, okay? So I went in here, I added AI, and then AI agent, and I connected it with an open router chat model. Now, if you're familiar with open router, you can sign up to open router account it's very simple and you can go simply to your api keys create an api key generate it completely for free and you can add it right here so you want to just paste it in here and once you paste it in here what i did is i added gpt 3.5 turbo model because this is a free model and it's also a very good model for this so essentially what i named this ai agent i named it thumbnail prompt because based on the video title from the form, uh, description of the video, uh, elements that the thumbnail should have, and the style of the thumbnail, it will create a prompt, as you can see right here. So this is the output that we're getting. And let's break down the prompt. So the prompt is about generating another prompt, right? So that's what we need to do. So write a prompt based on this. This is a video title here. I just drag the video title here. Here is a brief description of the video, and then I drag the brief description of the video in here. The elements to be included, again, the elements are here. Style of the thumbnail, the style is here, as you can see. And then I just said, make sure to not use the entire title, but a few words associated with the title, because we don't want the thumbnail to have a bunch of words. And the thumbnail should also spark curiosity and have elements of what the video is about, okay? Once we test this step, we're getting the prompt right here. Obviously it says prompt, that doesn't matter, uh, but here we have the prompt, create a realistic thumbnail featuring iconic New York monuments and text that hints at the top five best places to visit in New York, and then capture the essence of the city and intrigue potential viewers to click on the video, okay? So once we have this, we're adding an HTTP request node. So this is going to be an HTTP request node. This is a way to call the image generation API from OpenAI. Uh, and we just added this node very simply. So what you wanna do is you wanna go in resources below in the description, I have the resources for you. And you simply go and you go to this image API documentation here. Now, again, it might sound complicated to you. It might, you know, if, if you're a beginner, it might, um, you know, seem complicated, but 
you can simply go here and you can copy the curl so you want to go to curl and you want to copy this okay once you copy this you simply go here and import curl and you want to paste it in here and just import this will auto populate the method the url the headers and the body right here as well now let's break down each uh, one by one so again the method is post uh, we're using this right here because this is a version of the api that we want to use uh, we want to send headers so in the send headers you have authorization and here you have bearer and then you want to add your api key so for this you want to go to your api keys uh, on your uh, platform.openai.com if you don't have a, a account make sure to create one once you create one you need to do a couple of things to make sure everything is running smoothly so first you need to create a new secret key you want to copy that key next thing you want to do is you want to go to billing and you want to add at least at least five dollars i added at least five dollars keep in mind to also disable auto recharge at least that's what i did uh, and also keep in mind that each generation will cost around 25 cents or so okay so that's uh the second thing the third thing you want to do is you want to go also um you want to actually go and verify your uh, in um, your organization you want to verify your organization because without this you won't be able to access the open ai uh, image generation api okay so once you do this once you have the API key, once you do the billing, once you or, uh, verify the organization, you will be able to go here and you will be able to add bearer and then your API key. So that's what you want to do. This is how you call out the API key. Okay. Next thing right here, you have a uh, send body. If you uh, auto populated this uh, very well, you have the model, which is GPT image one. This is just calling out the model. We have the prompt for you. The prompt will be empty. Okay. And then you have uh, size so size can be only this unfortunately we cannot do 1920 by 1080 currently uh, but you will be able to use it as a thumbnail still uh, and also you will have another um, another parameter here that will that will be called n so you can delete that one uh, right here because that one uh, I had some errors with it so yeah I'm not using it and in the prompt um, or actually let me let me scroll here yeah we don't have anything else but the prompt here in the prompt what I did is I uh, went into expression and what I said is I said this right here so actually I want to delete this because this was the original prompt uh, and as you can see the prompt is I added the output from the thumbnail prompt generator I added here and I also said also make sure that the text right here it should be T that the text is not touching borders on left right up or down it needs to be centered okay and this is the prompt how the entire prompt will look like as you can see so this is dynamically changed from the output uh, and this is going to be always staying the same because we always want the text to be in the center okay so this is pretty much it right from there uh, you simply can go and you can test the step uh, and as you can see this will right now go into generation of the thumbnail okay so this is the second or the third node that is the most important node of this workflow okay from there we have convert to file node because um, as you can see i will show you in a second once this is generated how this looks like so you will get a bunch of codes right here and those codes um, they need to be uh, moved to a file and we want to use a convert to file right here so i basically went in here convert to file and uh, I went in here and type in base and move base64 st uh, string to file. So this, this here, what we're getting is called a base64 string. And we want to actually turn this into a binary file, okay? So as you can see, this is still being generated. Again, it does take some time. As you can see, if we show the data here, um, it will lag a little bit. So this is a bunch of data. As you can see by my scroll wheel here, there's a lot of data. So what we want to do is we want to add this node because we want to add this right here file we want to drag it in here okay make sure the output file is data and make sure that move base 64 string to file is turned on okay once we test this here we will be getting a uh, file as you can see if we view the file this is how it looks like top five best places to visit in new york as you can see 
so very clean okay so from there we added a Google Drive node and that Google Drive node is if you go to Google Drive and if you go to uh, actually it's not it's upload file yeah upload file and this is how it's going to look like Google Drive account so you simply want to go and you want to add the Google Drive uh, authentication here now this is something that I covered in one of my recent videos so make sure to check this out uh, how to get the client ID and client secret you simply need to go to your Google uh, Cloud account and then from there you need to obtain the client secret and client ID then you just sign in with Google and you authorize your Google account okay from there you have resource which is file operation is upload the input data is data and then what we are doing is we have a file name here which is going to be this right here it's going to be basically a title if we go to schema uh, it's going to be a title so top five best places to visit in New York we just drag this in here and we want to add a parent drive which is my drive and parent folder which is thumbnails which is this folder right here as you can see okay so once we test this step right here we will be getting the thumbnail in uh, our folder as you can see right here so let me refresh it and as you can see we have the thumbnail right here now if you go to our billing here uh, let me actually go to billing uh, as you can see it was 370 something it, right now it's 351 so around 20 cents per generation as you can see okay and keep in mind, I will also leave this right here below uh, in the description. This is just how you can uh, generate based on the prompt. So, for example, if you're, you know, if you want something realistic, uh, then the style of the thumbnail will be photorealistic. If you want something like a, uh, for example, Ghibli style, this is a Ghibli style right here. If you want something that is like a, uh, you know, a war poster poster style, then this is something you want to aim for when you are submitting in the style here so for example this right here what is the style of the thumbnail right so that's something that you need to understand so uh, yeah this is the entire um, workflow right here if you have any questions comment below also if you want to see similar videos like this one subscribe to the channel we're posting every single day five days a week and also definitely check out our premium group uh, if you want to go and if you want to learn more about uh, AI agents, about AI revolution uh, and, you know, more like custom templates as well. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.